Okay guys, welcome back. It's stop two on day two and it hasn't stopped raining in Da Nang, central Vietnam. And today I've got a special treat for you guys. I'm here to try Vietnam's number one rated Com Tham shop. Now you would expect to find Vietnam's number one rated Com Tham shop in Saigon, but no, no, no. This place is in Da Nang. Now I'm super excited to show you this. My new friend and owner, Up Van, spent 10 years in Saigon working and she's brought her Com Tham from Saigon to Da Nang. You've got Vietnamese people from all over the country stopping here. Nothing but good things said about this shop on Google. So let's go take a look. Okay, and the best thing guys is that I'm actually gonna get to go backstage into the kitchen and see exactly how they make this delicious looking broken rice. I can smell the pork next to me. Let's go take a look at that first. All right, so this is the pork marinade. So we've got, look how much lemongrass we got in here. And it's all pounded up and left in with the pork. And then once that's prepared, it's being grilled over hot coals. Those charred pieces of perfection. So as I said, family affair, we've got the sister-in-law now. And what she's doing before they grill, the meat, we're using a meat mallet tenderizer to just pound the pork, sugar, and adding a little bit of brown sugar to tenderize the pork and make it nice, nice and soft. So you see, we're just we're still on the bone. So shoulder cut, xin chào, and. Uh, We've got the lemongrass. I guess we're going to pound it up and put that in as well with the marinade. Do you make like how many kilos per day? Fifty kilos. Yes. Yeah. One day. A day. Wow. But uh, maybe this. Low because season. this month, this month is the longest season in Thailand. Yeah, yeah. So not too much. Okay. Yeah. But we also delivery and something. Yeah, yeah. So this just for one day? Yeah, today. Right. Today? Today. Wow. Yeah. But That's we also sell the chicken. Chicken as well, everything, yeah. right? Yeah. Wow. Oh, oyster sauce. This is oyster yeah, sauce. sauce. Oyster sauce. And then we've got, uh, we've got a... Uh, no, mum. Yeah, yeah. alright. Fish sauce. Fish sauce. Uh, Maggi soy sauce, yeah. bean sauce, okay, loads and loads of garlic. Uh, honey. Honey? Yeah. Oh, and some honey as well. Loads of garlic, ah, shallots. Ah, okay, yeah. garlic and shallots together. And then afterwards, they're going to pound the lemongrass, put that in there, right? Yeah. Okay. Oh, and. Southern Star condensed. So we're using condensed milk with this as well. In the, with the marinade? No. Like I would just never ever think to put like condensed milk in with barbecued pork. Like you read recipes online and people give you recipes, but it's not until you go into a shop and go backstage that you really start to, you know, get those little little intricate touches. I'd never guess this. In a million in a million years I would never guess this. So we say we've got the lemongrass. I think we're gonna I think we're gonna pound the lemongrass. So there's two things we're doing here, right? We're tenderizing the meat. We're making it thinner. So it's gonna make it a lot more tender. You're breaking down the fibres but also it's gonna cook a lot quicker. So we're talking like a few minutes each side and this is done. Oh yes smash it with a tenderizer. What that's gonna do break down all those fibres, get the oils out. Oh Oh, she's, she's gone. Break down all the oils and that's going to release into the marinade. We just cut them up. And there you go. Okay, and then into there, done. Come on. Oh, okay, so 10 kilos, we use one of these oranges on. These are in season at the moment. 
All right, guys, I'm super, super excited. Now I've got to go backstage and see what this is all about. I am absolutely starving. So let's see if I can get myself a bowl of come dump. The sauce, fish, the sauce. Oh, well. Because the mainly, when you, when you broke the rice, Nook mama, mama. Yeah, nook mama. Mama. So it's the it's the, 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 the fish, fish sauce. Wow. The fish sauce and then this. Oh wow! So you, and you use pineapple. Yeah, the first have to cook. Oh. And then together the chili and. Wow. The okay, so we've got something. garlic, chili. Yeah, something. Fish sauce. And it's all being cooked down first with the. Uh, Pineapple, is this a secret? Yeah. Can we tell people? <laughs> yeah. We're not allowed, don't tell anyone otherwise they're going to kill me people. Yeah, my, my. So the fish sauce, sugar. Yeah. Fish, fish, fish sugar. My, my sister, Tom, my sister, Tom, at least one hour. Ah, okay. Cook at least one hour. Wow. All right, so this is great for me, guys. I wasn't expecting to get to come into the kitchen, but this for me is absolutely perfect. So they're gonna put together some plates for us now. So we can see exactly how they put this simple but delicious southern Vietnamese dish together. Do you want, so we've got do you want to, to pork rind? Yeah. Oh, and I've, I forgot about the spring onion oil, the scallion oil. This is some of my favorite stuff in the world. So simple, so delicious, just enhances absolutely everything you put it on. It's one of my favorite things about Kom Tham and just Southern Vietnamese food in general, or Vietnamese food in general. You've got to have a nice, perfectly fried egg with your Kom Tham. Um, this egg cake's kind of funky. All right, so we've got that piece of egg cake. So this is the base. I'm gonna start adding, oh, I love that. Some pork rind. Oh, a nice big bit, she's given, got me a nice one. Yeah, she's nodding, she knows she got me a good piece. Fried egg. Sunny side up. Ah. All oh, right, so we're cutting up some pork. Thinly sliced, marinated pork. And that's being cut up really thin, just off the bone, into that delicious looking pork skin. And so they're gonna mix that all together. Right, so she's adding some of the toasted rice to that pork skin and that grilled pork. saw her make this earlier remember with the toasted rice the pork some nok jam nok mum nok jam nok jam nok jam we need thank you so much mm. come on in vietnam have a lot of the noodles yeah 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 bun 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 All right, guys, I've sat down. I'm so excited to try Vietnam's number one, as far as I can tell, rated on Google, Kom Tham Stool, okay? This looks epic. All right, come in, take a closer look at what we've got, because we've got to do some cutting up. We've got to do some mixing up. Like my man Max McFarlane told me when I was in Saigon, Kom Tham is best enjoyed when it's cut up and all mixed together. So let's take a look at what we've got. All right, so we've got 
everything. We already saw her make it, so I'm not going to run you through exactly what we've got. But extra wise, we've got some chopped red, chopped. Okay, guys, so here it is in all its glory. Now, I'm not going to run you through what we've got because I already did that in the kitchen. What I will show you is the extras. So we've got some red chopped chilies, some more of the spring onion, and some more of the crispy little gubbins of pork fat. Now, she told me, Upman told me that the reason there's not much on here is because people from the south, like uh, Saigon, like more and more chilies, and people from the north like less and uh, less chilies. Also, we've got a lovely little pork soup to try look at the look at the oil on the top of that it's beautiful okay so i'm gonna get cutting and then we're gonna mix everything together all right guys so i've got my scissors here right so i'm gonna actually gonna cut this up I'm just gonna use my fingers oh no there's the bone all right so we'll cut it off the bone and then we'll eat the bone later i'm not gonna eat the bone but you know what i mean we'll eat around the bone later like we did at the uh at the uh the bonbo one more shot. All right, bone over there. We'll cut up this. We'll cut the pork up. Don't care. We'll get our hands dirty. I don't care. We'll cut it up into nice little pieces because I want to get it all mixed up with the rice. All right, they're all laughing at me because I really don't know what I'm doing, do I? All right, so let's get that onto the rice. Get it all mixed in. I want mine all mixed in. I want to get some of that, some of this egg cake with the with the glass noodles and the woody mushrooms going through it. So you've got steamed egg cake, and then you've got that. Oh, you've got that runny egg. Let's get that yolk done. We'll break that up. Some of the port skin. We'll get it all in there. We'll get it all mixed up a la Max McFarlane style. Okay, I'm just gonna throw all of these chilies in because I love it. And I love this spring onion oil as well. So I'm gonna add all the chilies, all the spring onion. You know I need mine spicy. She just said to me, yeah, you're from Bangkok, aren't you? I said, yeah. I said, so she knows I need it spicy. All right, a little bit of the nok tab. Just a bit, she said, just a bit, all right? Let's go. Try and get a bit of everything. The pork. The grilled pork is insane. So well seasoned. Heavy, heavy, heavy on the seasoning. Got a massive, massive hit of lemongrass where there's just so much pounded lemongrass in that marinade. As I said, all the oils have separated, coated. The pork chop is sweet, it's smoky, it's salty. Textures, let's talk textures. You know I love a texture. So you've got, you've got that soft egg cake. You've got the fluffy, perfectly steamed broken rice. And if you're not used to eating broken rice, it's got such a different feel in your mouth than normal rice. The texture of broken rice is more like large couscous, especially where it's been steamed like this. So it's steamed couscous. I love, I love these chunky pickled carrots and daikon. Sweet and sour. The egg cake's delicious, springy, bouncy. There's a lot of flavor. You'd think this would be bland, but it's got a strong hit of onion. It's got the wood ear mushrooms, which are dehydrated, rehydrated mushrooms. Um, giving you like an umami hit and that knock down mm. sweet sour and spicy but you can really pick up the background hit of pineapple where she was boiling pineapples with it but look at the look at the the consistency viscous that thick mm. spicy as I said this is just real hearty comforting 
workers' food. And do you know what? Every so often, through the soft rice, you get a big, crunchy hit of delicious pork fat from those little crispy gubbins. So if you're not familiar with gom tam and where this came from, it's a dish that originated in Saigon, in the south. And it was basically the leftover rice, the broken rice that was left, off, left over after the milling process um, and the drying process to um, harvest actual, what we know as rice in the west. The broken rice was used for rice flour, for uh, like pet food and stuff like that. But the farmers realized, you know what, we can turn this into something delicious. It became so popular in Saigon that now actually people break their own rice because there isn't enough broken rice to feed demand. So basically demand has outstripped supply. It's no longer a surplus thing where, you know, we're just trying to use up uh, and, and not let anything go to waste. It's actually its own thing now and people absolutely love it. And I'm a fan, I'm a big fan. Like, as I said before in another Comptum video, I'm a simple man. This is a bit of me after a long day, hard days and manually working. This, this is what I want. This is what I want to come home to. So Helen, if you're watching, actually I do the cooking at home, so I'll cook it for you. So we're going to try this um, signature dessert in here, which is a coconut, coconut, mm milk and sweet potato dish with peanuts and grated coconut on top. I think this has been thickened up maybe with a bit of rice flour, uh, some, some palm sugar in there or some rock sugar in there. All right, here we go. As you know, guys, I'm not that into desserts and sweets, but um, I am quite partial to these uh, Southeast Asian coconut desserts. So some people would think this is a bit weird because it's got sweet potato in. When I say weird, I mean Westerners like myself, because we wouldn't have potato in a dessert. But I guess, it's in the name, right? It's a sweet potato, it's got a high sugar content, so. Oh. The coconut sauce is phenomenal. Mmm, very nice. You've got the roasted peanuts giving you a little bit of crunch. Thick, rich coconut milk. Yeah, I think it's definitely been thickened up with something, rice flour maybe. And actually, the, the steamed sweet potato. Actually goes really well. There's actually, I think, they're like sweet potato dumplings purple and yellow. So you've actually got purple sweet potato and yellow sweet potato and purple sweet potato actually tastes like, to me, like chestnut. So that's pretty good. I'm having that. So as I said in the intro, this is Vietnam's number one rated gom tam. And I could be wrong about that, but I can't find one with better rating. So I looked on five stars. Now five stars is pretty rare in Vietnam because as I've look through Google reviews. Um, you guys are quite harsh sometimes, you know? Um, so to get five stars, when I saw it, I, I typed in Kondam and it came up with five stars. And I thought, oh, it must have like four or five reviews, right? It's got 711 reviews, all five star. Look through them. The first few, they were all from foreigners. So I'm thinking, ah, oh, do they even know what they're talking about? But then I got down the list. So many Vietnamese come in here. Everyone's rating it highly. No one has a bad word to say about this place. And after eating here, it's easy to see why this place is so popular. So I'm not going to say it's the number one, it's the best or whatever. But for me, who's someone who just visits Vietnam on holiday, this is the best com tam I've had personally. Um, and yeah, I'll leave a link with descriptions and that Google link and you can check the reviews yourself. If you can find one anywhere in Vietnam with better ratings, with more ratings or the same ratings, like the same amount of reviews, but with the same five-star rating, I will pay it for your meal. They also do 100% fresh fruit juices. They've got a fresh fruit stall out the front. Oh, passion fruit. I didn't, I didn't actually know what that was when she gave it to me. Passion fruit, intense. 
Oh, very, very sweet, very, very sharp. Very, very refreshing. Bye bye. Bye bye. I'll see you again. Yeah, so the restaurant itself, very, very nice, very, very clean. It was a small little shop, just this side, but they got so many customers last year, they had to open up a second side next door. I think the main bonus for anyone coming from overseas like me that doesn't speak Vietnamese is the fact that this place is super, super legit. But Upman, the owner, my new friend, speaks perfect English, so you'll have no trouble ordering what you want. Now, I've got no more room because I had the bon bar, which you've probably seen in another video this morning. Otherwise, I would get the noodles in here. They've got a really famous chicken dish here, but I'm absolutely stuffed. Guys, it was cheap. It was delicious and I highly, highly recommend that you get down here yourself on your next trip to Da Nang. So I think I've waffled on enough today about some broken rice. I'll leave it here for this video and I'll see you in the next one.